gonna do a quick install on this Lux Bidet Neo 120. This should be the same install as the Neo 110 model as well. And you can see the components, what's inside the box. See right here, I got two T adapters, one metal, one plastic. I can use whichever I want to use. Of course, you get the menu as well, or the manual. Step one, turn off the water supply to the toilet. Like that. Next thing is to take off the lid, the toilet lid. You can pop these up here. And you get a screw. So these actually have a bolt. Mine have a bolt in the back, just FYI, okay? Okay, so I took those out from the underneath. Now I'll go ahead and pull this out like this. Now I'm gonna put the bidet down here and you have these little lids up here, just pop that in. And then we wanna put the toilet seat on and we wanna be able to, you can move this around so that we can actually match the holes here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and attach, attach the lid here. Okay, nice and tight. You wanna make sure that this part isn't moving. Next thing is, I gotta flush it. Make sure all that water leaks out, okay? Cause you don't wanna unscrew that bottom part and have a, uh, the whole water fill your floors. So the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and screw this right here that's attached to the toilet. Don't forget, you have to flush all the water out, okay? So let me go ahead and just Screw it, unscrew this. Okay, so I have like a little bit of water leaking out, you can see. So you may want to put a towel or a bucket on the bottom. So for this Neo uh, model uh, 120, you get two, they give you two T adapters. One is metal and one's plastic. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put the metal one on first. If I have any kind of like uh, leak issues whatsoever, then I'll just go with the, uh, the plastic one. Also, when you install this, don't forget that there should be a rubber mount inside. Okay, we're gonna put this one up on top, connected to the toilet. It also comes with some Teflon tape, so you may wanna go ahead and wrap that up. So you can see I got a little bit of Teflon tape on there, just in case. I'm gonna go ahead and put the metal T adapter on here. This plastic wrench that they supply does the trick. Now I'm gonna connect this one right into here. So now I have this piece right here. I'm gonna connect this piece to here, and this piece is gonna go into here. So let me screw this into here. Make sure it's tight. And now I'm gonna connect this part to here on the um, bidet here, and I put the Teflon tape there as well. So let's go ahead and put this on. All right, it's ready to go. Okay, so I just turned the water on and I can hear it like filling up. No leaks whatsoever so far. Okay, so perfect setup. I just took a test drive. This thing works excellent. At first I was considering to get the one that had cold water and hot water, but the hot water I would have to put it to the, uh, to hook it up to my actual sink and I have to drill a hole here. But this uh, cold water is actually like room temperature water, so it works perfect. It hits the spot, and so you have a cleaning nozzle right here, and you have the regular nozzle here. So if you're cleaning it, let me just lift this up. You can see how this looks. So if we go ahead and if you move it all the way over, and we go, that's the self cleaning. Okay. Now if we move this back up, now if we go like this, it's going to spray a little bit. Let me just like, oh shh. Anyway. Perfect.